Hello everybody. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I'm coming to you from Canberra, Australia and I have a question for you today. Today's video is about self-care and why should you bother? I mean we all kind of like cruise through life and we eat what we want and drink what we want and we party and we smoke and we do whatever. But today's video is about sharing the importance or the non-importance of self-care and how that in, how that affects your manifesting ability. So when you pop on, give me some hearts so that I know that you can hear me and see me. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And I hope the video is, uh, is of good quality because I forgot to switch my Wi-Fi off. Anyway, so... Let's talk about self-care today. Now, so why should you bother with self-care? Now, you know, I have, these are, these are personal experiences for me. I know that when I am in full alignment, when I take care of my being, how things flow easier for me. And I also know when I'm a couch potato and I eat crap like chips and Coke and all of that stuff, how my energy level drops. Now, let's talk about who you are in this physical reality. So your body is the temporary earthly home. It's the temple of your soul and your spirit animates your body. Okay. So what, this is what happens. Hi, Alison. This is what happens. We'll jump on the call after soon. We'll jump on the call in, a, in about 45 minutes. So what happens when you look after yourself? Okay. You feel alive. All right, you feel more alive, you feel good, your internal dialogue is gentler, you stop beating yourself up, you, it shows that you matter, it shows that you're caring about yourself, it shows that you're showing yourself the importance of your experience in this physical realm, in your, in your temple, your body. It shows that your, it shows that your well-being is important. It means that you're making yourself a priority. And the universe loves that when you're making yourself a priority. Okay, you're, You have a higher energy as well. You resonate. Your vibration is at a higher energy level. You love life more. You, you're open to more. You're open to learning new things. What else? You're, you show up differently in life. You love yourself more. These are just some of the benefits of, of self-care. So how do we do self-care? What is self-care? So we are three-dimensional beings. There's, we're three aspects. We're, there's three, three parts of ourselves. There's the body, there's the mind, and the spirit. Okay, and you, we can't separate one from the other. They're entwined. They're, they're entangled. It's who we are. Now, so this is what you do for self-care. You need to nurture all three aspects of yourself. You need to nurture your mind, you need to nurture your body, and you need to nurture your spirit to live in full alignment with what you desire and with your, with your physical being, as to be in the full expression of who you are. So, okay, let's look at Let's look at your mind. So how do you self-care with your mind? What can you do? Okay, so you can read, read more. And when I say read, it means, it, for me, it means personal development. For me, it means spiritual. For me, it means anything where you can expand your knowledge, you expand your awareness, you expand your consciousness because you're growing, you expand your knowledge. So you study. Okay, study something, study something new, even, even just like learning another language or learning a new skill, a piano or something like that. That expands your being, that expands your awareness, that expands your mind. It's always about growth. I heard this saying that if you're not growing, if you're not expanding, you're dying. And I know so many people that don't learn anything new. They stay stuck, stuck and they stay stagnant. And I've seen the results of what that's like for those people. So your mind. So focus on your mind. You can write these down as notes. So your mind is part of an aspect of yourself that you need to work on with self-care. The other side, the other, well, the second, the second most important part is your body. This is a huge one. 
it's huge for me too so these are things that I'm always constantly working on for myself because we have a tendency as our spiritual beings in a physical experience in our body we have a tendency to be lazy absolutely we have a tendency to be lazy we have a tendency to be slack we have a tendency to to put things off we have a tendency to say I'll start tomorrow that's just that's our innate nature so we always have to pull ourselves up on on us on that that's why we get coaches that's why we join something we join programs or we join something that's going to keep us accountable because our nature is to be lazy so your body so I've got a few things written down here so stretch you need to stretch your body your body needs to move okay you need to stretch you need to breathe taking deep breaths if we look at how we're breathing in most cases it's shallow breathing you need to fill up your lungs right down to the diaphragm and take a few deep breaths and just energize your body even just taking a few deep breaths centering yourself doing that your body all of a sudden you start to feel more alive you might start to feel a little bit more tingly so breathe you need to take some deep breaths even every hour just take two three four deep breaths but just just fill up your lungs fill up your diaphragm and just feel that oxygen permeate every cell of your being okay walk you need to move. So you can either walk or run. I do a com I like to do a combination of both. I'm not always consistent though, and that's see that's one of that's one of the things where I need to talk about or I need to pull myself up on with self-care because I easily slip into the I'll do it tomorrow. But pull yourself up on this. I pull myself up on it all the time. And I go through phases. So sometimes I'll go every single day and then I'll sort of pull back a little bit, but then I'll get I'll get started again but I'm conscious of it, I'm aware of it. So be aware of these things. What else? Yoga. Yoga is amazing to stretch. I know that I was having, this was, I don't know, about a, probably about a year ago, I was having lower back pain. And I knew that it was just stagnant energy and I knew that I needed to move that energy. So what I did was I found a 10 minute yoga routine on, uh, on YouTube for free. And then I started practicing that every single day. And then my back pain dissolved within probably five to 10 days, something like that. And then I make it a practice to do that as often as I can, just 10 minutes in the morning. So a combination of all of these things, because I want to show up as my best self. I want to show up at my highest energy level. I want to show up with full vibration and full energy and self-love and acceptance. And these are parts, these, are, these steps are what help, will help you get there as well. So what else? Okay, watch what you eat. Now the body, as I said, is the temple for your spirit. When you nurture it with, when you nurture it with good foods, good foods, whole foods, it resonates because the energy, what the energy of whatever you're consuming, for example, live foods. When you consume live foods, you know fruits and vegetables. If you pick it off a tree or pull it out of the ground, that's called live live foods. Then your energy, your body absorbs the energy of the, those plants, like a plant plant based foods. Anything that you're consuming that we can say that is isn't alive, like Coca Cola or, or or things that aren't picked. So if you if you can't pick it or you can't pull it out of the ground then it's not live food. The energy level is really low. And so instead of using those live foods to supplement the energy of your body, you're eating foods that have no vibrational energy or good vibrational energy. Instead, your body is using energy to process those rather than using the energy in the product to help you grow and expand. So just keep a mind out for that. What else have I got written down here? So any external substances that you're consuming think about that whether it's candy or in Australia we call it lollies lollies or, or, or things that ask yourself before you eat it or smoke it or drink it will this will this be will this be beneficial to my body just ask yourself that be conscious so be consciously aware of what you're consuming just ask yourself before you consume that ask yourself is this serving my highest good then you can make the decision whether you want to take that or not okay 
Spirit. Spirit is the final component of the, the trilogy of who we are. So how do you nurture spirit? How do you self-care spirit? Okay, this is a big one. I love this, this subject. So you meditate. And I remember back a few years ago, I remember thinking I was always hearing the word meditate, meditate, meditate. And I was actually getting frustrated with listening to hearing about meditation because I wasn't sure how to do it. How do you meditate? I would, I would always picture these people sitting on a lotus in the lotus position up on a, up on a hill or on the beach somewhere and just being perfectly still and I can't even sit in a lotus position. My legs would cramp up. So I would get frustrated because I didn't understand what that meant. But meditation is really just being still. Meditation is being still without letting thoughts that, that are always crossing our mind and are always act active in our brains. It's without entertaining or engaging that thought. So, and I love to use guided meditations. There's all sorts of different free meditations on YouTube, practice them. I, there's a mindfulness meditation that I love. It's 10 minutes. All of these little things, they don't need to take a long time. If you practice every single one of these, read something every single day. So just read, hi Ange, just read, read a few pages of something every single day make your mind grow body have some fruit oh, i'm starting to do juicing i'm just doing juicing again before i went away to japan a couple of months ago i did 10 days of a juice cleanse and i felt amazing i felt alive because i was detoxing my body i wasn't doing i wasn't consuming anything that wasn't good for me so i was just pretty much juicing for 10 days straight i lost a couple of kilos but i just felt incredible there was a documentary that I watched that's called uh, Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead. Watch that, it's free on YouTube, it was amazing. It was really insightful and then that inspired me to, to do that. So I, today I made, I think I made six different juices and they're all set to go ready for tomorrow. But, so I sort of digressed a little bit. Med so meditation, so with, with meditation, it's just about being still, it's just about being present, it's just about being mindful. You can light a candle and just sit next to a candle looking at the flicker of the flame. You can put on some soft music in the background and just be still, just listen to the music, listen to the, the flow of, of the sounds of the music. You can sit in your backyard in the sunshine and just watch nature. Meditation doesn't have to be sitting on a lotus position with your, you know, your fingers like that and, and it doesn't need to be that. It's just about being mindful, it's about being present and you can do that in nature, as, nature just by watching the birds, okay? Even just watching your pets play, that's kind of like mindfulness, momentary meditation. So another way to nurture your spirit is that you can be grateful. Be grateful, you can just be grateful in any moment. You, know, you can be sitting in the car and be grateful that you have a car. Be grateful that you have a vehicle that can take you from A to B. Be grateful that you have, yes, Angie, I love meditation too. Be grateful that you have a comfortable soft bed that you can sleep in. Be grateful that you have a fridge. Because if you're watching this, you probably have a fridge that you can cool, cool your, keep your vegetables and your foods in there so that they don't get spoiled. So. Be grateful, be grateful for the people that you have in your life. Be grateful for them, the money that you're making, the jobs that you have that enable you to be able to pay your bills or enable you to go away. Just be grateful, be grateful for the grass that you have and you can put, you know, step on under your bare feet. Be grateful for the sunshine, be grateful for the clouds, the stars, whatever. Whatever, whatever you can awaken within you the feeling of gratitude, practice that often because you can't be in a negative state when you're when you're feeling gratitude and gratefulness okay appreciation it's exactly the same thing when you eat a meal appreciate the fact that you have a meal when you're having enjoying a coffee maybe or a glass of water appreciate that it that it's delicious or that it's clean water clean cool water so one thing that I love to do to nurture my spirit is to step into awe hi adam my gorgeous adam you can step into awe. Now, I step into awe by watching the sunset or by watching a sunrise or by watching, you know, when you see the rays of light peeking through, the streaming through the clouds. I love to look up at, at, at the stars at night. That's what really moves me. I, and I, I really, that's how I nurture my spirit, okay? So let's talk about what happens if you 
if you don't nurture, if you don't self-care, those three aspects, body, mind, and spirit. So now, as I, was, I said earlier before, I've never seen an over, overweight couch potato that has a zest for life and that says, yes, that has a can-do attitude. You, you don't. If you're in that position, if you're, if you're in that position where you're losing your zest for life because you're not nurturing those three aspects, mind, body, spirit, this is what is going to tend to happen okay so you'll tend to see the negative side of life okay you're less likely to participate in activities or anything that involves personal growth you have a block about changing your life see if you let, give me some thumbs up if this resonates with you or, or share some comments as well so you're more likely to stay in your comfort zone and that's so true because I, I go through phases as well. I'm human as well. I have all sorts of flaws. And I'll go through phases where I'm not doing my self-care, my, my self-care and my nurturing. And then I will find myself falling into, spiraling down into this side that I'm sharing with you right now. It's about being vigilant. It's about being vigilant and actually pulling yourself up on that and say, okay, you can start again because you can always start again. If you fall off the, the wagon of self-care, it doesn't matter. This moment is a new moment. This moment is a new moment. Tomorrow is a new day. You can always start again. So don't beat yourself up on it. Just start again because I do it all the time. I self-care and I'm really good at it and then something happens and I don't self-care. But I know how I feel the, between the difference of when I do and when I don't. And these, these are the things I'm sharing with you. So you're also prone to depression. If you're not growing, if you're not nurturing, if you're not look, taking care of your mind, body and spirit, you're prone to depression because you're seeing the, the downside of life. You're not feeling fulfilled. You're not feeling motivated. Okay, You stay stuck in life. It's so easy to stay stuck in life. So that's one of the downsides. Then you also, you're also hard on yourself with your internal dialogue. You beat yourself up. You beat yourself up. You say that you're not good enough, or that you'll never amount to anything, or that you can't do it, or you just—it's just this internal bully kicks in when you don't nurture yourself, when you don't self-care, and you're also prone to illness and and uh, lethargy and autoimmune diseases. Okay, because everything is energy how you treat yourself how you treat your mind body and spirit is going to determine the energetic level the energetic vibration with with which you move through life you can move in flow or you can stay stuck and self-care is the vehicle to start to move into a life a fulfilling life a life that you desire to have thanks adam that's so gorgeous so okay so Focus on these three areas, mind, body, spirit. So with your mind, ask yourself, what can I do for my mind today? What can I read or what can I study or what can I learn or what conversation? Even having deep conversations about something. No, not, not gossiping, not talking about somebody else, not talking about the negativity, but sorry, I need a drink. Talking about something positive. About something that, yeah, that the life talk about life talk about energy talk about universal principle principles spirit anything that that enlivens and enlivens you so for your body ask yourself today what can i remove out of my diet what external substances can i stop consuming that you know that don't serve you you can even just, just grab a piece of paper and just sit there and write these okay what's what are three things i can do for my mind from this day forward what are what are three things I can remove from my diet? What are, what's one or two things that I can do for my body? For example, breathe, like breathing exercises or moving or yoga or just even going for a walk around the block. For your spirit, you ask yourself, ask yourself for your spirit. So how can I be still today? How can I be more present? How can I be more grateful? How can I be more appreciative? Okay, so if you just if you just focus on those three things, mind, body, spirit, is self care, it's self nurture, it's 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 doing the best thing that you can do for your temporary temple. It's the temple. Your body is a temple for your soul, and it's it's what you're taking along in this journey. The higher it resonates, the better life will be. So, 
So get into alignment, get into alignment with those three things. Live your best life because it will serve you. Live your best life moment to moment. Like I was saying, I get up, you know, I, I do the things and then I don't do the things. I get back on it again and I do the things and then I don't do the things. But I'm not going to beat myself up over it because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment where you can renew yourself. So think about where am I where am I not nurturing myself? Where am I not doing self-care like I probably could? It's not you don't have it's not a should, it's a could because it's your life and it's up to you to to do what you think is best for you or sometimes what you think is best for you is not best for you maybe what you know is best for you so if you're i hope that was useful today give me some some likes or some hearts and let me know how what resonated with you uh, this is i love this sort of stuff and you know sometimes it's nice to be reminded i know i forget things all the time sometimes i get triggered and i get reminded by something and i go oh that's amazing and then I might want to write it down or talk about it or do a do a live about it as well because you know the, I'm here to help and support you. I'm here for your personal growth to become the best version of you that you can. Actually, I don't know whether I introduced myself as well. I think I just went, went straight into it. I'm for those of you that don't know me, I am an international manifesting coach. My name is Anna, and I help entrepreneurial women shift their perceptions and their perspectives from believing that they are not good enough to getting into alignment with the things that they desire. It's just all energy. You, you learn how to shift it. You shift your reality. So if you'd like to jump on a free 30-minute manifesting mastery call, I can then help you identify the three things that are holding you back from having the life that you desire. Comment interested below and I will be in touch. So I will see you again tomorrow. Have an amazing night, morning or day, wherever you are in the world. I'm about to jump on a call to the UK. So I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Self-care. All right, bye.